<laughs> who gets to be a Leah? Yeah. <laughs> that be guy who gets sucked. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's my job. <laughs> <laughs> Great, another Blade Runner. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> wow! That was much better. That was much better. That was much better. That was a lot. Okay. <laughs> These pants, I love them. Yeah. <laughs> it didn't he has to. You're going to have a hard time getting them off. He's never getting them off. Up, up there with the old <laughs> Navy pants. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, the wow. khakis. That's oh, yeah. prestigious. I know, yeah. Mason and Dylan get it. Yeah. <laughs> Khaki boys in the house. Well, those yeah. are some good pants. Right ah! <laughs> <laughs> no, you're like okay. heavy breathing. Oh heavy yeah. Breathing. <sighs> Wait. Yeah, it's more of a like, gas. It's more yeah. gas. It kind of sounds like you just <sighs> took a drink of like a refreshing. Like, Here, <laughs> everybody. All right, everybody on. Everybody on, on, everybody on three. Yeah. All right, one, two, <laughs> three. <sighs> See, perfect. Yeah. Welcome <laughs> to another Gatsby episode <laughs> of the F Movie Podcast. I'm your host today, Dylan Camacho. Today with me, Mason, Nathan, Price, and uh, I actually don't remember what we're reviewing anymore. Queen what? of Nathan. the Dam. <laughs> Queen of the Dam, that's right. I forgot. <laughs> God, you silly. I don't know how he forgot. We, it, it's, it's, it must it's, have been a while since he watched it's it. It's so, yeah, it's been... Minutes. It took, it took us a while to change into these outfits. Yeah. What so, outfits? Like, we just forgot. So anyway, we're doing. Uh, <laughs> so, never mind. We're doing Queen <laughs> of the Damned, the music video by Corn and Little Features of Death yeah. Static S and Disturbed. Disturbed, yeah, yeah, Disturbed's yeah. in there as well. Mm -hmm. uh, Nathan, what's the what is the plot of this movie? Uh, well, <laughs> as I just recently discovered, it is a spiritual sequel to Interview with a Vampire. Which we have reviewed before. Yeah, we, we have. Go check it out on the channel. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if we recorded um, it. No, we didn't. You cannot check it out on the channel. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, Retro <laughs> review. If it ever comes up, that's going to be That might old. come back around. Well, Maybe. Um, but yeah, so this <laughs> is about a vampire turned rocker who decides that hiding in the shadows is not what vampires should do. They should be out in the world like shredding. Shredding. Yeah. yeah, just... Just rocking out on stage sure. and just openly telling everybody that you're a vampire. And everybody cool with it. Yeah, everybody is definitely And everybody cool was with it. super cool with it, especially the humans. Like, And especially the other vampires. Right. Yeah, totally. The humans were... Side note, the humans were, like, too cool with it, yeah. right? Like, yeah. All of those reporters, they were like, yeah, so don't you think this is going to be bad? And he was like, let them come find me. And yeah. all the humans were like, sweet! Yeah. But then, yeah. like, so... We're just we're leaping right into it, guys. Oh, I'm yeah. telling you right now. I have a feeling this so, is gonna jump. Okay, here's the thing. Like <laughs> he's like, come on out, guys, to like the vampires, and then they come out, and he's like, shit. Like, <laughs> kind of like, wasn't making. I didn't have game. a plan. <laughs> like what was the plan? Luckily, my though? ancient vampire girlfriend will set them all on fire. <laughs> yeah. He definitely calls her mommy behind the scenes, right? Like, mm -hmm. Well, um, during the change in the house of flies scene, like, mm, yeah, probably. How would they like they? Did he even become his, her boyfriend anyway? Because like he sucked her blood one time. He sucked her statue yeah. blood. Yeah, that she one time. she just was vibing with him. He, yeah, he came down there. Like, okay, let, let's watching. let's back up a second. So, <laughs> for for a moment, we have Lestat. He's back in the world, and he's like. Man, I'm gonna rock out. I, I've met these New Orleans kids, and they are my ticket to the top of yeah. the Billboard charts. And then he rolls that into having a big show in Death Valley, where he's inviting all of his vampire friends. And as soon as all that stuff happens, we immediately cut to spending 30 minutes of learning about his past through a secret occult person reading his diary. Um, in which he happens to stumble upon a secret tomb of the Queen of the Damned, the original vampire and the mother of all vampires. Mm -hmm. And the king. And, mm -hmm. and the king. And yeah. also the king. But now nah, he's not important. Yeah. And, and then he's just down there just playing a violin for her, <laughs> and she's just like, yeah, and I she, feel it. She just raised her statue. She just offers her hand for him to, uh, you know, take a sip, take, get that yeah, good take, suck. Take yeah. a little, take a little. And after top. he got that good suck, he did not want to stop. Yeah. He was insatiable and had to be tied down. And his master fled with 
the queen somehow. Maybe. Yeah, we even though she was really, a statue. We didn't really smooth that over. Yeah. But, but I think mean, vampires are strong. Yeah, yeah I mean, vampires are strong. <laughs> So anyways, back to the Death Valley stage scene. Uh, all the vampire right friends do, yeah. in fact, come to see him and mm-hmm. attack him. And wouldn't you know it, the queen comes it's straight hiding from below the stage. stage. Boom! <laughs> it's the queen! She, came, she does come in like a wrestler, though. Like, <laughs> oh, I know yeah. I'm making a lot of wrestling references, but she definitely came in like Kane or Undertaker, like Big Show, right through the top, <laughs> yeah. raises from hell. And then just, like, looks at everybody, and they kind of just light on fire. Like, mm-hmm. I guess weaker vampires, so you can just be like, <sighs> and then just feel assaulted. And abs a right. Bit. Yeah. <laughs> I, I know this is kind We're of... We're all listen, she, with you. Aaliyah does it better, okay? Yeah. Kind of that latest Rick and Morty episode, you know, the guy who controls the police or whatever? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just set him on fire. Up <laughs> yeah, that... <laughs> We're dating the show. We're dating the show. Oh, Don't do it. Oh, We're timeless. Oh, oh absolutely. <laughs> We're timeless. Yeah. This movie is definitely timeless. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, we got to talk about uh, what's her name? Um, Tit Slash. Uh, the uh, Jesse. The the paranormal investigator. Yeah. 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 The the wanna be a vampire girl. Right. So I get that this is she's playing. Is she, romance? I mean, well, she's very or, she, infatuated or she's with. playing the audience role. Mm, she's so yeah. boring. She I just think has that's no really emotion. what she's playing. In right, this, she's playing. She yeah, she's giving us the reason too. why we're getting the lore and everything. She's right, so boring to watch. She, she is so boring. I had a good time with her. She's pretty though. She, it's like so? she, it's I think like she's she doubly pretty. Preparing herself to be the vampire that she didn't play for most of the movie. I know because she's a vampire at the end, and about the only difference. Is she her? She's a little. She's more a little smoky. more sassy. Yeah, like, she's got a little bit, a little bit more of a like modern Mike Chemical. It's like stuff. she's actually got the uh, oomph to back up her attitude right. that she had through the whole movie. Well, I mean, point. granted, she was going into all these places without any. any. Oh yeah, any, any plan? She's completely yeah. clueless. Yeah, and not she. She was still a junior member of the paranormal right. investigative team. You're not supposed to be whatever the hell that's work. supposed to be. Yeah. Yeah. You can't go. No out explanation with me. there. Yeah, yeah, but like her. Hey, David. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, God. First, first of all, just go watch the movie because this this conversation is gonna make less sense as it goes on as we keep talking about it. But I will tell you, the parts that stick out to me, we gotta talk about the music, Nathan. Oh yeah. Um, I don't think they picked they. Corn didn't make a bad song for this. No, no I like, disagree. Not for Korn, one. Th- I think this is some of their best work. Yeah, I'm I not like, disagree. The thing more. is, I'm not a huge fan of Corn. I, I think Korn. the majority of their songs are garbage. I, I would agree. agree. <laughs> um, it's a lot of thoughts yeah. <laughs> on this couch. I mean, we're, we're conflicting. All of the Corn okay. songs sound the same in this movie. Like it all sounds like that. <laughs> 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 It's yeah. just like them moaning into the mic the whole time. Like that's just so if I had boring. Just closed my eyes. I would have thought Corn was <laughs> yeah. amongst me right now, like, <laughs> singing. Yeah, it all sounds like uh, I don't know the title of that song. It's gonna kill me. I can only sing it, but I'm not gonna sing it now. Anyway, <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, but for this for to be s- like yeah, this, this, oh, is, this, was, this was marketed yeah. to me as like a music video. Like I was thinking like Repo. Like I thought it was gonna be like oh, it's not like a musical. This, like, there was barely any music for what it was. Stop this. <laughs> and, like, was... I will admit, Nathan did say that this movie was going to be a big corn fest. Yeah, yeah like, there was going to be so much to it, and there I just wasn't. It. Like, it was I just that it was very much about the metal. It was just very it. terrible yeah, acting okay, yeah. with, like, music being Pando. played over it. All right, all for, like, ten minutes. Two it, prices it was, it was just, like teen goth fantasy yeah it was vampires and metal music and like goth rock yeah bro i wouldn't have wanted to watch any of that when i was in school uh, you wouldn't watch it now more. well i probably <laughs> did that while i was in high school yeah so yeah I, which is I, where I all these clothes came from we so, have yeah. me and biased nathan, opinion much <laughs> over here nathan and me like to remind everybody that we would have probably hung out in high school because it was similar aesthetics <laughs> yeah and then price and mason would have like played frisbee still like, <laughs> played frisbee like it would have been the same shit if i'm probably thinking about it but all right so yeah two Two prices credit. If I think about movies nowadays and how they're more, if I'm thinking like something like mm, Scott Pilgrim or something like that, movies that are very okay. incorporated or yeah. uh, uh, Baby Driver or mm-hmm. you know movies like that yeah, that yeah. really feel like 
the the music is so a part of the action, like that makes it the music video. I think like that's where kind of expectation is because modern mo- movies have kind of done a little better incorporating oh, between sure. the two. Yeah, but you have to remember, Bryce. We said Queen of the Dam, the movie you never heard of, <laughs> and that the music was provided by Corn during. To be fair, their peak and yeah, like peak times yeah. of relevancy, so to speak. Then I would be expecting more because they'd be able to produce good music. Well, yeah, this you're, is you're thinking music of the from the movies. That's your barrier gap <laughs> but, here. They but you also got to remember the two qualifiers here. Queen of the Damned, a movie that you haven't heard of, but it has corn music specifically made for it. Yeah, and if you're that, a corn fan, a that should be a red flag. Like, why, like, why was I not aware of this? How did There's I not know? There's probably a reason that right. I didn't know about this wonderful But film. you just Could said you be? like the music. Oh, I, I do. We, yeah, we, I do. I, I, do. Know, I, I know the lyrics to every song. I believe it. I listen to them a lot. Which you'll probably be great. seeing as this video goes on, but we still don't understand, but... You, you'll you see it here, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about. You know, well, we but, played, like, that Deftone song. I've heard that one before. Changing Yeah. yeah. Right. Now, that song. one, like, like, is the one song I did kind of enjoy, but everything else was... Yeah, yeah it was a great scene, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> only rivaled by the love scenes in the, so, in the room. I, I gotta wonder, in that that tub scene... Oh. Wait, are we talking like, the cranberry did, tub, did, or are we talking the cranberry the tub? tub? No, no, the rose petal tub. Like, the rose... Okay, yeah. The rose petals. Did these vampires go through the effort of filling the tub full of rose petals? They better have. That or was, was the it queen. Pretty, the ambiance. I've yeah. learned with no. my new relationship that ambiance is apparently very important. <laughs> yeah. So light, they took the time to do that. Light some insects, right. you fucking Poison. casual. But, <laughs> no, I think that it had to have been like that uh, that assistant, like scummy executive looking dude who was like, oh, I'm oh, getting that girl out of there. He's like, trust me, this is wait, a good they, thing. They, they flew halfway across the world to some like. You don't think he's everywhere with them all scene? Like, so so she picked him up too, yeah, yeah. and didn't murder him like the fifty something people that she murdered and just On had bodies strewn across that, the beach. So that line was hilarious, but she was like, "This is our kingdom." Yeah, it's like that scene of Bird Demic. It's like that scene like, 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 of like Bird Demic. Remember when they first see that like scene of the bur- the dead bird? And yeah. they're like, "Oh, don't get step close to that or something." Probably that same beach. <laughs> well, to be fair, my head canon is that she <laughs> picks him up along the way. She's like, Are you talking about the manager still? Yeah, yeah. She, yeah, he's yeah so she picks the manager. Why? Here's my head canon. Here's my head canon. Okay. She okay. picks up the manager <laughs> as well. Because, you know, Queen of the Damn, she probably just floated him with his mind for all I know. Oh, sure. And yeah. she goes Doesn't on over. It. She's like, set, set the mood. <laughs> Hold on, sorry. Set the mood. Oh, yeah. Mood. Yeah. 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 Why are you doing that? <laughs> While she's also... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, so she's like set the mood, and then like you know he like set, sets the rose petals, and then like she gets some nip, you know, and then afterwards, <laughs> Bites the nip. afterwards he's like snoozing because you know after a good nip biting you just need to take a nap real, <laughs> and uh, then uh, then he definitely dies, like, and that's why we don't see him for the rest of the movie. After oh that. yeah, it's because he's uh, part of the kingdom. Is this headcanon as like are you as stuck on this as you are with the the music movie? Oh, they drop off in Sing the boat. Street and the, Sing they Street. die in the boat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Boat and, <laughs> yes, boat because that is confirmed. Head cannon. <laughs> confirmed kills. Those are yeah. confirmed kills. Those are confirmed speaking, kills. Speaking of ends of the movie, <laughs> yeah. of movies in general too. Do you all find like even though this movie is kind of long for what it is, especially with how much time it spends where it does? Yeah. Is it not strange that they so quickly are like, okay, the queen's back. Everybody knows the Queen's back. We're having this meeting at this, like, secret family location. She shows up. <laughs> final final fight shit. right then. Yeah. You're like, you feel like they're talking about, like, you know, we're going to do this. We're, we're yeah. going to kill her. This we're going to kill like her. The and then she's setup. just there. Yeah. And then that's the end of the movie. Yeah. Talk like, shit, right get there. hit, boys. And then she gets sucked. Which I still don't understand. Like, that was such an abrupt end. But the guy that, like, made Linstad or whatever, the vampire's like, you can't be with this vampire. I don't care. I feel like you can't be with this violin girl because, like, she's a human and they're just food to us. And then, like, an hour later, he's like, oh, I love them now, apparently. And then, like, I want to try to not let them die. And then then five minutes later, hey, David gets killed by him. (laughs) Hey, well, David. <laughs> it, it's, it's kind of he says, hey, David. that to some degree you would think that most vampires would be like, we can't do what the queen wants to do because then all the humans are dead and mm-hmm. we can't eat anything. Yeah. yeah. She's going to eat everybody. everybody. Yeah. 
Okay. You Whatever. actually made more Listen, sense. Listen, and she would also eat the vampires. That's true. That, well, that I, was I, the they other they said, they're, and then they're yeah. like, fuck, we're next if yeah. you fucking munch Sorry, out this people. movie, I'm surprised it fed this this information to me so well. I was <laughs> really <laughs> engrossed. The lore, Don't know how I missed it. The lore is good. She is the devourer of all. She's the queen of the damned. She's so, Aaliyah. Yeah. She died in an airplane crash. <laughs> And she was the uh, easily yeah. the best one in this movie. Oh, she's the only one of oh, acting absolutely. range in this whole movie. <laughs> yeah, the only one that was worth. You watching. guys are sleeping on my boy Jasper. Yeah, <laughs> who was Jasper? Lestat, the guy who climbed no, no, the no. wall. No, 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 no. That yeah, Lestat. Wait, it that was. Oh was yeah, yeah, you're right. Duh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Jasper was our nickname for yeah, him. Okay. You were a matter of. of a if you've in. watched Twilight and Hannah, you have all of them <laughs> recently. You're not watching this episode, but you know Jasper. <laughs> I have yeah. no idea who they're talking about, but everyone in this movie was terrible. I besides liked him. I, didn't, I really I mean, did not. He was like, great. But he like, just like stared lustily I, at the yeah, camera. I thought time. he was fine for a vampire. Yeah. For, like you gotta, they're playing vampires. Yeah. Vampires are gonna be a little weird. Now, does the red-haired girl have as much leeway walking yeah. like she does and talking like she does and showing up at all these places like she does? No. 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 Because she's not a vampire and she doesn't really have any business doing and it. And even later when they start giving the exposition that she's actually an important character because... Yeah. Dude, that and was they just in the game. dump that in on their, like, her great, great, great Well, they, they allude to it in moments, like making no sense at the beginning where they they have that scene where it's all the dolls and she's just like laying in a bed. They yeah. do that same shot twice. Yeah. 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 And two yeah. different boys in the movie. Which again, I feel like it's a callback to Interview, <laughs> interview with a Vampire. Interview with Vampire with Kirsten Dunst's yeah. character, yeah. Okay, mini question. Who was a better actor or actress? That red hair girl that kept showing up for Don't some reason? Oh, or yeah. the girl from Birdemic? Oh, oh god, god. The fucking oh, girl from girl. the fuck of this movie! I yeah. still think the girl from Birdemic. You won! No, I, you won! <laughs> I really think that, like, she tried acting in Birdemic, unlike everyone else. Like, I think she was acting a little bit. Hold on, I need That's to ask the crowd something real quick. Do we feel like Birdemic is a higher rated movie, should be a higher rated movie than... I don't think uh, it needs to be brought up this many. Y'all don't even know what it is. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, group. Even, Groupie number discussion. one. <laughs> Big Fish no, better no, than... Just no. <laughs> okay. Well, well there, there you go. Have it. There you go. Um, that's okay. literally a third of our audience. I stand by. It. <laughs> do you guys think? Do you guys think that the C, or not CGI, but the effects in this, oh. the crazy fast running, like the hazy, shadowy. No, the, no I can tell you right now, these yeah, are all loading. the these are all the same gra like CG graphics from Thriller, and they've just been copy and pasting all the vampire like <laughs> aesthetic and things like that. They were a little choppy. Yeah, they were a little, just a little choppy. A little. Like at one point, they were like getting stormed by the queen, I think, and like all the vampires <laughs> were just like, yeah, yeah. My favorite part like is whenever, seconds. whenever the the fucking burnt corpses would just be a whole torso yeah. just floating in the air, <laughs> like somebody well, just burnt meat. Well, for some reason, that's the moment where all the humans were like, oh no, oh. this might be like for real something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like, think that's the acid, Jerry. Just people flying above yeah. us with daggers trying to murder him, and right. he's cutting their heads off. But this looks legit. <laughs> well, listen, I've been to a Guar concert, so I can kind of meet them halfway yeah, on that. Yeah, that's fair. But enough. when the burning corpses start floating, then fucking what's her face rips her throat to the stage. You're probably like, oh shit, is this wrestling now? <laughs> Where's my brother? No, my <laughs> I'm telling you, in the choice to have like that really loud gasp play oh, every time on, the vampire game. came on was so annoying. Every time. I didn't notice it until you pointed it out every yeah. single time. I didn't notice every it. Every single Somebody, time. Can you give me a pillow? Like, you want a pillow? Yeah, give me like a big pillow. There you go. Like, I know, they'd be sitting there and then like they wouldn't be in scene at all, right? And they'll give me a gasp. <sighs> Hello, David. <laughs> <laughs> you know? That was just kind of crept in the shot. <laughs> God, it was so was bad. You know was I mean, so, no, this movie <laughs> entertainment value for discussion is so high for me. You know, and they play some of my favorite songs, so that that will reflect in the score. But I, it will also reflect that it should have hung way more dong. Yeah, that's, yeah. The, you know, this movie. No, no nudity, honestly. No, no, honestly, no nudity. Not at all. I literally at one point... Which is surprising. It was rated right R like, for vampire violence. Interview right. with the That's vampire. It. Interview Show with the titty. vampire had nudity. Yeah. 100%. A lot yeah. of nudity. Yeah, I yeah. remember it. A healthy amount of nudity. Good amount. Ooh. Vampires with <laughs> A healthy amount of nudity. Yeah. Listen. Was there a dingus? No. I don't think so. Don't think no, so. no, no. 
Um, I think that was too early for <laughs> too early. Oh yeah, yeah. Bit yeah. Risque. Listen, I mean, who do you think? Yeah, Tom I'm, Cruise, I'm Brad glad Pitt. we live in a time. Those guys are hanging on a movie for the price now. they're getting for that. Oh no way. Kirsten Dunst would hang tits, but she was a little too young in that one. So. She uh, was like, yeah. Uh, 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 yeah. <laughs> she does. She does in later movies like all the time. She read all of the time. I understand what Dylan said. Thank you. I'm not saying that she needed to in that movie. Keep talking, Dylan. Don't worry. We'll cut it if I can't go into that. Yeah, we're just helping. I'm going to have to hard cut in some, uh, some, some just random. Or no, something. Yeah, this is where we say a bunch of vulgar dark things to super cut in <laughs> concert. Or just blur them out with like the Japanese panda or whatever that says, like, we'll be right back. <laughs> Anyway. See, like, I don't feel like there's too much to really talk about this movie. Like, I was just more bored the entire movie. Like, it's... It, it moved you the story along, yeah. though. Like, yeah. it, it yeah. told a story, and I think yeah. it... Which it it is already it, better than Birdemic for that. Yeah, it didn't do it <laughs> in a great Dimmick. way. Do you remember the did. beginning of Birdemic? <laughs> is this the fifth time he's brought up Birdemic? Yes. Yeah, it is. Because they're very comparable in do my opinion. Do we have a dollar no. jar for... No! No, they're not! <laughs> no. no, they're not! <laughs> Nothing is like Birdemic. Nothing is like Birdemic, Birdemic because Birdemic is, is not a movie. It's not. <laughs> As Mason pointed out in his one star review. <laughs> one star, don't This is see not it. actually a movie. This is just scenes that college students put together and are calling a film. Yeah. Price only likes it because what's his face has wishes him happy birthday because he paid him to be his friend. That's it. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Okay. Alan Ball, so you're watching we, this. Do we want to have a question for this? Yeah, yes. so let's get into the question. All right. Question no, is. I don't want to anymore. Yeah, question. All right. If. Uh, of our cast, which one, if one of them hung dong, which one would have given this a higher score? Him. Dong dong or just any <laughs> Just Just hung dong. Damn. If dong was hung, like, Lestat, who would give a higher score? Lestat, Maurice, or David? Lestat. 100%. It won't be David. <laughs> I bet. Had too much I bet David. David is packing. Well, I'm not saying now. who would hang it. I'm saying which one gives you a higher which one oh, raises the score? Yeah, who's Dong was that? For sure. The dude had a. The, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah the rock star. Jeans. See, yeah. I, think, I feel like he's overcompensating, though. I think uh, David is packing it. Which would even. <laughs> honestly, David's no. David's like a librarian lawyer or something. I feel yeah. like it, he yeah. could not physically wear dude. these pants. <laughs> Bro, David has. You that. can barely wear those <laughs> pants. <laughs> So, oh, thank you, Mason. <laughs> That's very kind of you. You're welcome, sir. As a connoisseur, <laughs> as a connoisseur of movie dong, okay, uh -huh. let yeah, me yeah. explain to you why Lestat is the better option of the two. Right? He's overcompensating. No, I agree with you, and for that reason, you're gonna get smaller dong. Which you know what? I appreciate because you know we get um, what's his face from. Uh, oh, uh, Captain Fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Matt. Vigo Vigo, Morrison. Morrison. Vigo. Yeah. Vigo has. A very humane sized dong. <laughs> not like Thunder, not Thunder Gun Express big dong, like just a very human sized regular dong. And I appreciate having, you know, some normal semblances. Mm. Tom so, Hardy's is like normal. In yeah, the very normal looking yeah. dong. And that's why I appreciate Dong about Tom Hardy. So, but then we get, if we get the. But you know he's a grower, not a shower. I'm yeah, sure. listen, same team. But, like, <laughs> my point is, is that if we get, like, Preach. David the Librarian yeah. dong, then it's gonna be like, oh shit, dude. It's like, yeah. I don't, it sets the impression all wrong, you know? Like, yeah. That yeah, everyone you wants really to be a don't library. Want, you, don't right. want, you don't want all the young goth girls to be misled by this. Right, movie. listen. This <laughs> to, is, to have their feelings yeah. like led astray. Like, I thought it was like This is going to be their only basis of <laughs> really dong. Good. And, like, God bless every guy in their, like, emo goth scenes that are going to have to go through that. And they're like, well, you're not David. You know, like, <laughs> oh, you're Matt. Hello, David. Hello, David. <laughs> yeah, like. <laughs> Jesus. I find that, like, the. the an odd question to ask about the, this movie. The moral think. of the story is keep your dong humble, everybody. Keep your dong humble. <laughs> the, 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 the showers are going to stay in that quiet confidence like Mason, you know. Yeah, is, so. exactly. Mr. Uh, throw him out there. Frisbee. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to think of more things I can say to be vulgar enough to get cut into. Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to think of more to things to talk the, about uh, this movie. Uh, do we want to go into scores? Yeah, I'm good with that. <laughs> Nathan's like, I kind of want to talk more about it. But, uh, if you have something, feel free. I just, I you know what I do. Very okay. all right. The go lips, ahead, Mason. The lip syncing of basically discount Rob Thomas. Actually, no, he was Rob like a Thomas. just he Rob was Thomas. a Target version of Rob Thomas <laughs> because he was very handsome. He was very handsome. Rob yeah. Thomas is too. Yeah. But oh yeah. The lip syncing and the stage performance, I thought was kind of good. Yeah. 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 Honestly, all things considered, yeah, so he, he belonged up on that stage. Have you ever seen like carpool karaoke or whatever? Like, yeah. it's not too hard to do that. 
Yeah, but it's also him like dancing around the stage and like screaming right. in the mic. I mean, you're a big James Corden fan, right? Me? You. Oh. <laughs> Is anybody a James Corden fan? Is he? <laughs> there was a Reddit thread literally talking about this. Uh, no. yeah. <laughs> Do you remember that AMA he did or whatever and everybody roasted him? Yeah. <laughs> He's terrible. James Corden, if you're watching this, fuck you. <laughs> Cut it. I dare you, Nathan. Uh, we just lost a subscriber. Ah, uh, James Corden is just like, you fuckers are going to suffer. <laughs> I was in Cats. <laughs> <laughs> I showed B-Hole in that movie. Yeah. You know what? Actually, you're right. It shows B-Hole. James Corden, you have my respect. If you're not going to hang dong, at least show B-Hole. Half a point. Let's get into scores. I don't know how we could possibly talk more about this in a good way. Me either. Mason. Me? Yeah, I'm going last. Yeah. Um, Works for me. Man, I kind of enjoyed this movie a little bit. It was yeah. It was okay. It didn't even seem that long. It really didn't. The, the pacing was a little bit weird. Like you said, that all that crazy, you know... Uh, action sequence all happened at the very, very end. But for the most part, I didn't even mind the red haired girl's dumb little thing. I do wish that her, like, bloodline or her heritage would have come up a little bit sooner. Yeah. Because, my God, she's basically, like, the great great granddaughter or something of some. Yeah, like, it, it feels like it's a story that sh- got cut short due yeah. to some kind of budget constraint. Too many stage performances. I don't know. Burning and they were man. cutting corners too. I mean, they they did they weren't even on location in that yeah. castle. They literally <laughs> had a painted skyline. Mojave Desert, California, as yeah. Jill would readily point to you. And yeah, you know. but this kind of movie. It's like, is this Europe? Yeah. <laughs> it did. It did. It said London a lot. Like, yeah, they were supposed to be in London. They were now, in London. Speaking this, of, how were the fonts in this movie, Dylan? Fucking awful. I'll get there. <laughs> I'll get there. This Mason, movie come. reminded me of True Blood a lot. Yeah. Um. And for that, I give it a six flat. Yeah. It's yeah, entirely too high. Choo choo! <laughs> I'll never watch this movie again. I'm, you know what I will do? I'll look up corn after this a little bit. I will dabble in corn's top five songs, and I won't go any deeper than that. I can send you some good These won't be on the top five. Yeah. Although. Thank God. Th- no, no. They, there's some that absolutely deserve it. Yeah. No. There, there's some real. I will send you five chord songs that you'll be like, oh yeah, there's no way they're better than these. I no, I doubt that. You come in with a lot of hubris on your music taste. <laughs> I'll here. send it to you. Anyway, um, Mason's right. This is a six. <laughs> like, uh, the the it's font not too bad. Six is like their lowest. No, no. not yeah, true at all. Yeah, Go check out our review of Pathology to find out what my most yeah. recent lowest is. Yeah. But <laughs> Foxcatcher, yeah, it's lower than Foxcatcher. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> I had to ask what Fox Catcher's score was to make sure it was yeah. on Anyway, uh, the fonts on here is fucking terrible. The acting is pretty flat. The uh, um, the flying and CGI and all of the effects are... Twilight. Twilight. Twilight, yeah. but ten years early. Or but, maybe not ten. Maybe yeah, like but six. honestly, if you're asking me in the vampire movie genre, did it feel like this was so far behind? Not really. No. I trust me. I just passingly watched handfuls of Twilight recently. Hannah, <laughs> you animal! How dare you watch five fucking movies in a row? I'm not here for that. So, having just seen some Twilight, modern, as modern as modern, it gets. That's five as, years later. Yeah, way more later than that. It was 2000. No, I watched. That's the first, beside the point. I Listen, the it does not matter. The either. point is, the point is, yeah, but the later last movies went into like oh. the 2015s or something like that. That's, That's like, on you, buddy. Anyway, the moral of the story is, <laughs> is that if you said this movie fell 20, 15 years behind the Twilight movies last movie, I don't know. Everything looks and feels the same. If I'm being honest, the acting is just as cardboard, and the looks are just as goth and eyeliner and. The makeup all actually looks the same. The guy looks straight up like Jasper. Like, honestly, he could have walked onto the Twilight set, and I would have not blinked. Um, yeah. So, so all of that said, that's not a lot of greats. But I'll say, music, I'm about it. Aesthetic, great. Girls, eh, whatever. They're my type. That's the, like, neon hair, that one look on that one. Yeah, I like that eye candy. Sends me back to my nice vintage emo years, and I appreciate the nostalgia run that it gives me on that. So I'm going to give it a six. I did not have a nostalgia run with this movie. <laughs> it, was, it was, like... I didn't, like, hate my time with it like I did, like, Excalibur, Repo, stuff like that. So like you were with us. I yeah. was just very bored the whole time. Like, there was nothing really Because you had there. your brothers here. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I, I had brothers there. But it's Don't just... Don't my it, it was just so <laughs> flat. All the acting was so flat. Aaliyah was fun to watch. But that was honestly, like, the most enjoyable thing about this movie. The music was not enjoyable to me. I just felt like moaning, kind of like all the same kind of music. It all sounded yeah, the yeah. same. 
it just was not fun to watch. I would never rewatch this movie. I don't want to think about this movie again. But I didn't detest my move, my time with this movie as much as I have other movies, so I'm going with two and a half. Damn. Two and a half. All right. Kelly, just happy that it didn't get more than Big Fish on I screen. was going to flip my <laughs> <laughs> if he said anything about before. I'm not comparing to Big gonna Fish at all. I camera down. <laughs> <laughs> this podcast is over. <laughs> Kelly's like, no. signing <laughs> off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See Tombstone Pile Driver say that. Yeah. <laughs> That's, it's a surprise, Kelly. <laughs> what I R K is. Yeah. I know. Nathan, bring bro. us home. Short squeeze this score to the moon, buddy. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Give it a ten. Fuck us up. This movie is definitely something that I'm glad exists. Yes. It's like. It's literally just made for goth kids. It is vampires metal music and just dripping aesthetic mm-hmm. um it was perfect for my era and like my time as a young teen mm-hmm. and even now i'm like i still kind of vibe with it i think it's pretty entertaining um i don't like i want to give it a six just for the fun of like the six six six, six, six. <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> But I, I, I think I'm gonna go a little higher. I'm gonna give it like a six point five. Yeah. I mean, it's it's not great, and I think I. So this is a movie where had it had like another fifteen minutes at the end of it to actually tell a story of the murder of the queen, and not she just shows up immediately <laughs> as the plot's beginning, and then it just all unfolds right there. Um, it probably would have raised my score. Because that, I I forget, because most of this movie, as we were watching it, I was just like, you gotta, like I just kept thinking, like, it's going to get better once once uh, the queen shows up. Like, yeah. that, that's when it, <laughs> Once that's the queen when comes cool. in, 40 minutes into the movie. Yeah. <laughs> like, near the end of the movie, whenever she finally shows up, those are the cool scenes. And then the movie's over. Yeah. So, yeah. so soon. Speaking of that scene, it showed that like it had many face shots of that blonde guy. Yeah, over just him. Yeah. yeah, I made sure I, to mention I feel that. It was weird. It's weird. True, he feels like he feels like an analog to Tom Cruise in Interview with a Vampire. Yeah. he's got the same kind of hair and the same like attire. So maybe he's the homage thing, and they're like. But, that but at the same time. Our main character is named Lestat, and that is the name yeah. of Tom Cruise's vampire as well. So I, I don't know. It, it's kind of weird. I, despite having watched Interview of the Vampire and this movie several times, and then them being like a classic favorite for me growing up, uh, I never realized that this is a spiritual successor to that <laughs> no. movie to begin with. So it doesn't make sense. <clears throat> yeah. Man. Yeah, so I think it's time for us to grab that wheel. Let's and shred shoot. that wheel, boys! Can't you hear me playing? Uh, here, Nathan, you here spin. You go. All right, you got to squeeze it on that thighs. Yeah, mm. go for it. I can feel that this thing's about to fall apart. Yeah, dang. Do it. Let's see what happens. That's a good spin. What we got? I bet it's my movie. Be my movie. Oh. Action movie. It's just, it's just action. It's <laughs> yeah, that means I get to put a movie on it. I'm just glad that that category is coming off the wheel finally. I'm glad it is too because I get to put a movie on it. So say the camera can't see us at all. <laughs> action, huh? You already know what you're picking. Yeah. Oh. Uh, what's okay. that? Okay. Yeah. What What are we watching <laughs> next then? Elite Battle Angel. <laughs> <laughs> that that makes more sense than anime. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're gonna watch the raid. The oh, Raid? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Never heard of it. It's like a it. Korean movie, isn't it? Yep. I think it's like a horror. It's supposed to be like some of the best action scenes, like, yeah. ever. Yeah. Yeah. It's action, baby. Make sure to tune in for The Raid next week! Uh, make sure to check us live on all of our concert tour dates on Twitter. Mm-hmm. And you can also make sure to subscribe to the channel below. Woo! You gotta hit that bell. Yeah. You gotta hit oh, that bell. Look up oh. Gaps of Pain. Look up that's, Gaps that's of Pain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, hit the bell and uh, make sure Stroke to comment below. Bell. Yep, strike the bell. Stroke. Oh, stroke. Oh. Uh, hold this. <laughs> Make sure you're making vampire gasps as you do it. Ah! <laughs> 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 like one of those whistles. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>
If you like this homoerotic theme, make sure to let us know in the comments below. And if you think that this aesthetic is actually going to be reoccurring, you'd be right. Sometime, probably. I don't know. We'll make it happen. Um, anyway, guys, that's our whole episode. Make, make sure to <laughs> tune in next week for the raid. Make sure to check out this clip right here. And hopefully Nathan has a cool thing where it plays us into a scene right then. I don't know. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. Or he just cuts all hey, of that. You ask him to do stuff all the time. I have so much good ideas up here and he just ruins it. <laughs> Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye. Bye. You know, like, you're talking about a kazoo, right? No, kazoo is something that you're No, I'm thinking of that.